हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी इंट्रोडक्शन टू एयरपोर्ट इंजीनियरिंग नाउ व्हाट डू यू मीन बाय एयरपोर्ट इट इज एन एरिया व्हिच इज टू बी रेगुलरली यूज्ड फॉर लैंडिंग एंड टेक ऑफ ऑफ एयरक्राफ्ट इट इज प्रोवाइडेड विद फैसिलिटीज फॉर शेल्टर एंड रिपेयर ऑफ एयरक्राफ्ट इन एडिशन टू द other normal facilities for passengers and cargo now classification of airport according faa that is federal aviation agency the first one is non primary airport which handle less than 10000 passenger each year and the next one is primary airports which handle more than 10000 passengers each year now the next classification is according icao that is international Civil Aviation Organization. Now the first one is based on runway length of airport. This classification has been done using code letters A to E, in which A type airport has the longest runway length and E type airport has shortest runway length. Now the next one is classification based on ESWL and tire pressure of aircraft. This classification is done by numerical number one to seven. in which perpendicular represents maximum equivalent single wheel load and maximum type pressure and 7 represents minimum both now basic features of aircraft and its characteristic the first one is field length an aircraft type is required to demonstrate the field length required for following cases the first one is to complete a take off to 10.5 meter altitude with all engines operating second one is to complete a take off to 10.5 meter altitude with an engine failure at a critical point the next one is to stop after aborting a take off with an engine failure at a critical point and the last one is to stop after landing from a height of 15 meter now the next one is aircraft component in which the first one will be the engine now the first one is piston engine suitable to operate at low altitudes and moderate speeds next one is turbojet efficiency is higher at higher altitude owing to the drop in the atmospheric density and greater temperature difference through the turbine now the next one is turboprop performs well at low altitude as well as high altitude now the next one is ramjet no moving parts must be operate at high speed Now the next one is rocket engine no limit on altitude since oxygen in the atmosphere is not relied upon for combustion engine carries its own supply to oxygen Now the next one is wings the purpose of an aircraft wing is to support the machine in the air when the engine has given it the necessary forward speed which is shown here Now the next one is three control that is elevator rudder and aileron elevator is generally used for control the pitching rudder is used for turning or yawing movement and aileron is used to control or rolling movement another one is fuselage main body part of aircraft provides for power plant fuel cockpit passengers cargo etc now the next one is type of propulsion propeller usually has two or more blades which are driven round in circular path the blades reflect air backwards with acceleration and thus impart forward thrust to the aeroplane this is called propulsion size of aircraft speed characteristic weight covering capacity etc depends upon the type of propulsion generate the basic runway length is also depends on it now the next one is size of aircraft wing span length height distance between wheel base tail width etc are major factors which are considering during the design of taxi way size of hangar and apron width of hangar is depends upon height which is known as empennage height and wing span 
Now the next topic is the minimum turning radius. For deciding the radius of taxiway, position of aircraft at loading apron and hangar. It is essential to study about turning radius of aircraft. To determine the minimum turning radius, draw a line through the axis of nose gear which is at maximum angle of rotation like this. Intersection point of this line and the line drawn through the axis of main gear is called the center of rotation. Distance of farther wing tip from the center of rotation represents the minimum turning radius. Now it is known as the turning radius. Now the next topic is the minimum circular radius, the minimum radius with which the aircraft can take turn in space. It depends upon the type of aircraft, air traffic volume and weather condition. During planning, desirable spacing between adjacent airports should provide. In case this spacing not provide, then operation timing should be managed to avoid collision. This affects the capacity of each airport. Now the next one is speed, that is the cruising speed or ground speed. Aircraft speed with respect to ground when aircraft is in air at its maximum speed. And the next one is air speed that is the aircraft speed relative to the wind. Now the next is the weight of aircraft. Weight of the aircraft directly influence the length of runway, thickness of runway, taxiway, apron and hangar. Now the weight component. Empty operating weight will be equals to constant weight of aircraft. Zero fuel weight will be equals to empty operating weight plus maximum payload. Maximum takeoff weight will be equals to empty operating weight plus flexible combination of payload and fuel. Maximum landing weight should be less than maximum takeoff weight because fuel is burned during flight. Maximum ramp weight should be greater than maximum takeoff weight, extra fuel required for taxing etc. Now the next one is jet blast. Aircraft eject hot exhaust gases with high speed. The bituminous pavement is affected by jet blast. Therefore, it is desirable to provide the cement concrete pavement at least at the touchdown portion. It also affects the position, size and location of gate. Now the last one is noise. It is major concern for discussion on layout, capacity of airport as well as surrounding area. Aircraft noise level is increased with maximum gross weight of aircraft. Correct assessment of future noise patterns to minimum the effect of surrounding communities is essential to optimal layout of the runway. For future technology, noise footprint is recommended is 1 km square for 90 PNDB and 3 km square for 80 PNDB. PNDB means perceived noise decibel. That is all about the introduction to airport engineering. Thank you very much students.